What's going on everyone? It's me, yeah boy! <laughs> oh my god. Alex the Rambler, and today we're on Hearts of Iron 4. I'm playing the mod which literally hundreds of you have requested, A New Order, Last Days of Europe. Uh, this is the alternate reality mod where Germany uh, wins, and it's now like 1960-something, and we get to look at the state of the world, and just how, uh, well, um, uh, I, I think that this image here sums it up. Oh, sorry, the new order, not a new order. What did I say? Did I say it? I don't know. Anyway, so, um, because hundreds of you have have asked me to play this, um, please do, if you haven't already, subscribed. About 50% of you that watch my videos aren't, so if you want to be notified of when you get to see more of this guy, do it. And also, uh, leave a like. 5,000 likes would be fantastic to reach. And also a comment. What do you think of the mod? Have you played it yet? I don't know. Just whatever you feel like commenting, really. Hello everyone, just to let you know that Games Planet have a big old summer sale on at the moment in case you're looking for some uh, rather fancy deals. Uh, that does also include a 75% off from the base edition of Hearts of Iron 4, just in case you've been watching these videos for years and have never actually picked it up. Uh, most of the DLC as well is also on sale, as you can see here, 50% off most things apart from La Resistance, which is still 10% off. And if you do purchase anything from that site using the link in the description, uh, I also get a little percentage of the sale as well. So it helps me, and it will help you get some decent deals. Alright, cheers. Uh, in order to increase the chances of this video even being monetized, I'm going to request the editor to plot my face wherever they may be. Uh, any symbols that aren't advertiser friendly, you're going to have your work cut out for you. <laughs> Ooh. So a new order has descended upon the world. Uh, the world has been forever changed. Yesterday's great empires are now dust under the boot of today's victors. A German lands on the moon. Oh. In America, the old system lies shattered. The Mediterranean power balance lies on a knife edge, etc, etc. I have played this a couple of times before in like, the demo versions. I haven't actually played any of, the, any of this now. Uh, but I thought it might be fun to play as the uh, Kingdom of England. So, we're led by Alec Douglas Home. We're on authoritarian democracy. Uh, we have such things as across the channel. Ah. That's not good. Cannot train, disband, or edit unit templates. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. That's not good either. Her Majesty's most loyal resistance has been a persistent annoyance for over a decade, absorbing the communist and rogue military units which form the majority of the resistance. Marr. And then we could have these things. Keeping ahead, the king's speech, and writing on the walls. Uh, so, it seems that... Oh, England was actually invaded, I presume, by Germany in this timeline. And now England faces its darkest hour with no Arthur to save it. Don't worry, you've got Alex. Better than King Arthur, who needs that guy? So this is the state of the world, uh, just in case you weren't aware. Mr. Nixon is in power over here. We have a happy-looking English fellow over there. Uh, Russia's just split up into all of this, just a complete and utter mess. Australia still exists. Hey! And so does New Zealand. All right. It appears the Italian Empire... Uh, did they try to dam the Mediterranean in this timeline and it's all gone a bit really quite terrible? <laughs> but yes, uh, it appears um, devolution has hit England. We've got the Kingdom of England, Cornwall, Wales and Scotland and... Yeah. Oh, fresh. When I tried to subscribe to this mod, it said that it had been uh, DMCA'd. I don't know why. Who knows? Yeah, I don't really know. I don't really follow mods developments. I just see when they're released on the workshop. I'm like, oh, that seems like it might be fun. Of Englishmen and the rest of the world, what is there to say? Okay, well, if you want to read this, um, I'll just scroll down now. Or you can subscribe to the mod yourself. It's definitely a very well-developed mod. I would say, though, I don't like the UI. This glowing neon just does nothing for me. It makes it really hard. It's been cleaned up since the demo, that's for sure. Like, it's not as bad as it was, but I just struggle like this. I know a lot of effort has gone into designing this, but it just doesn't work for me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. So we're in the uh, Unity Pact. Scotland isn't. I think Scotland's got their own independence. Wow. Britain is a land of chaos, a land of unrest, a land of opportunity. Whom shall rise and whom shall fall is left up to those who take power for themselves. Let the winner take it all. Tally-ho. Huh. Seems like Scotland might be the best place to be in the, in the 1960s in this world. Well, let's go for TikTok TikTok. 
The surrender of the United Kingdom at the end of the war, unfortunately, wasn't enough to keep dissidents quiet in England. Oh, got quite a sizable army, though, still. 19 divisions, that's not, that's not terrible. I'm squinting, just trying to see what everything is. Montgomery stayed loyal. All right, Montgomery, there you go. I always hate this. Sussex doesn't encompass Kent. Okay, Kent is its own. Mm, I don't even know what I'm meant to build, really. So we're in uh, DEFCON 2, and the world tension is already 75%. Growing chaos in Germany. <laughs> it would be nice if there was an option to disable the swastika. I have no problem with seeing it in a historical context, but it could be very hard to monetize videos that are set in a historical setting, especially <laughs> especially one that's primarily set in uh, WW2. Um, so I know in the base Hearts of Iron there isn't the swastika. Can I get demonetized for even just saying that word? Oh, well, I will find out, right? <laughs> but just in case you're watching this and you've never seen a video of mine before and you're like, why the heck is he playing a mod that contains the swastika? Uh, it's because the modders, this is their, this is what they've done. And it goes without saying, I, I think that what uh, they did during the war is abhorrent uh, and I and I do not support that ideology in any way or shape or form. These videos are just meant as entertainment, they're not meant to be political statements at all. I don't even know if I need to say that in a video, it, it's just, I, I, just in case you were thinking that for some reason I hold extreme right wing I, I, uh, ideologies, I don't. To me, uh, seeing this is the equivalent of, of seeing it in a game like Wolfenstein, etc. Right? It's the, there's, there's no, at least from my point of view, and I, I know very much, and I, I can't speak for the modders, but it's, it's, it's. Wow, there is so much detail to this. Timothy O. Thattery considered himself about as normal as one could be under the circumstances. Okay, so that's just talking about uh, various people's experiences. Um, so we can either go for the Prime Minister Speaks, will enable a gameplay perspective from the government, which includes preparing a safe speech for Edward, okay, or a state beneath their feet, which is the ability to monitor the extent of the government's territory control. I think we'll do the government's perspective. England as a nation of compromise are very existent existence dependent on the fact that the Germans considered us not worth the effort to puppet us. All Her Majesty's most law- no, let's do it. Her Majesty's most law resistance. Yes, yes, we'll do that. I miss the regular colours of the map too, like the ocean is very dark. Oh wow, there's a ledger! Huh, that's pretty cool. Griselda was only one part of Her Majesty's most loyal resistance. Hmm. Ah, Griselda wasn't fussed on the return of the Queen. <gasps> But more about her own personal vengeance. Well, fine. Griselda. So this is all about planning um, and, and and kind of running the resistance movement, uh, it seems. Uh, all leading up to a king's speech. And I don't know what goes on from there, but this is actually... The, 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 the detail in the text they're putting in. Oh, they've, put, they've put the F-bomb in there. Oh, crumbs. Oh my gosh. There's a map within a map game oh and it's oh oh boy oh my god and look you can actually you can touch it look it glows oh oh you can interact with a map within a map that is that is without doubt the most exciting feature i have seen in this oh so the north would be in yeah this the midlands are disputed and the south is firmly in in control of the government this is exciting holy moly I don't know what to do, but if I just click on things, that works, right? I can infiltrate the planet. Pla planis? The palace. Ah. Oh. Okay, so Albert Speer might be taking over the German Reich. I see. Canada doesn't appear to have a focus tree. I think the USA does, right? Oh my god. So this is just telling the a story of Griselda and her meetings with cell leaders. There's so much depth to this. Opposites attract. Most of the Her Majesty's most loyal resistance are moderates by any sense of the word. Men and women who want freedom more than anything more specific. Who do they have writing this stuff? This is a, this is this is great. I, I mean, I'm not going to read it all out for you, um, but it's just like I, I think that they're all planning uh, to invoke some trouble uh, <laughs> at, at, at the at the latest um, King's speech. Oh, reach out to OFN contacts. Yes, 
please. The king's speech is shaping up to be quite the event. Some might want to break out the champagne and call it a day, but London is practically being isolated in preparation for it. Hey, they've stuck dumb freeze in. Wait, is my town in there? No, Dover. There's never anything here. Actually, I don't. I don't think they need to put the town where I grew up in. That's not necessary. Whispers has reached Edward. Whispers that Her Majesty's most loyal resistance intended to kill him at the speech. Something that he had initially refused to believe, as surely no group loyal to his niece would kill the reigning monarch. But at the same time, a voice in his head had asked, What if they were right? Edward hadn't got any sleep for days. Oh, Griselda, on the other hand, had memorised every guard rotation. The writing on the walls. So what is the current safety of the speech? The safety of the future Edward's speech is estimated to be around 0%. Oh, oh my god. Germany actually let England keep a lot of their navy. And look at these little cute tanky divisions. Is Hirohito still there? No. He's gone, I guess. Oh no, he's there. He's there. Timothy O'Flatterheels offered £500 to stay at home on a specific day. Uh-oh. And then we go for the king's speech. No more preparation. Zzz. Edward goes live. We will gain the ability to contest control of states via the decisions. Yes! I get to interact more with the map within the map game. I don't think I've been so hyped to see what happens. This is clearly really detailed. Like, they must have spent... They, 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 they've spent years creating this mod, haven't they? Ah, oh, they've even got Swansea. I can't speak in a Welsh accent. My apologies. Uh, my Scottish accent is also uh, not very good either. Well, I can do a Cornish one, though. I got a brand new combine harvester and I'll give you the key. Bom, bom, bom. That's an actual song, by the way. The grenade toss had almost been perfect. Land it... Oh. Landing amongst the people behind the king rather than at the own uh, traitor's own feet, but the result had been impressive nonetheless. The king had been hustled off unharmed. Also, oh, the king didn't die, and Claude Orkenleck, who hadn't been sin since the uh, surrender, has now. Oh, he's leading the resistance. Okay, Claude. An assassination t attempt on Edward VIII. In a stunning news today, the King of England, Edward VIII, has had a narrow escape from assassination during which a speech. I could do this in a try and radio presenter voice, shall I? In stunning news today, the King of England, Edward VIII, has had a narrow escape from assassination during a speech he was performing outside Buckingham Palace. The assassin, believed to be a radical member of the organisation HMMLR, attempted to throw a grenade at the monarch in the middle of the speech and was only stopped by the fact their device landed amidst members of the government standing behind the king, shielding him from its wrath. This is a public representation of the instability many have long believed hides behind the facade of civility in modern England. Give me a radio show. Ochenleck, Alexander and Sterling. Mmm. Together they represent Her Majesty's most loyal resistance. So they're already pretty popular in Lancashire, Yorkshire, Newcastle. Yeah, the East Midlands and West Midlands are contested, so let's try and do a pop... Yeah, let's just try and increase support. I don't know how long it takes. So we can either go down for Bill, Claude, or Sterling. Now, Claude is the original leader, right? So I think we should probably... Let's do that. It's all about gaining strength and unity. Hmm, yeah, yeah, targeting the cells would actually be good, so increasing our weekly trend. Yeah, I should probably do that in all of these contested states. Oh, so Cornwall has actually stayed occupied. But they're technically a puppet of the Kingdom of England, I believe. Yeah, with France. Okay, let's get a... The leader speaks. Propaganda has value. Something Claude has come to know quite keenly for the fight for British-English liberation. Then I'll do a flood of volunteers. I'll probably regain some uh, political power first. It's kind of a bit weird how you share the political power with the government that you're trying to overthrow, even while you're trying to roleplay as a resistance. My bit there. As a member of Parliament and a war hero, Claude Auchinleck is afforded a certain respect by much of England. He was the last man standing in Carlisle, after all, and has such become the patron of several charitable organisations. Hmm. It's also a co it's just a coincidence that <laughs> Her Majesty's Most Loyal Resistance recruiters also frequent to the events. Of course, of course. Hey, we've gained control of the East Midlands. Uh, the West Midlands might be on its way fairly soon, and I'm just gonna do a expand the cells in the seven. Then I might try and work on East Anglia. I don't know. Because in London, only 20%. Mm. Okay, staying in the north. Claude Orkinleck fought the last battle of the United Britain around Carlisle. A desperate defence that culminated in being forced to surrender. Oh dear. 
I haven't explored too much of Carlisle, but I would love to spend more time there. It's a beautiful area of the of the country. Oh no! The Burgundinians have successfully tested a nuclear device. Burgundy? But why? Oh, Newcastle is really loyal, and Yorkshire. Lancashire, me. Uh, Midlands is increasing. Yeesh. Let's dominate Lancashire. It's perhaps the third most populous area in England, containing much of Manchester and several populous towns. Okay, yep, let's do it. Oh, Italy wins against Turkey. Alright, but what did they get? Okay, so now Lancashire has 82% support. Okay, we're, we're very firmly in control in the north. Good. I mean, my support with them is already pretty good, I think. Boop. Almost got the West Midlands. <laughs> Please. Oh, good, we have control of the West Midlands now. Woohoo! No epic launcher, go away! Why would you pop up when I'm playing a game? Collapse of German Madagascar. Okay. Population stock. A surplus of munitions is a consistent problem for our organization. Quite. So the mystery of Lufthansa 302. So what essentially happened is when they uh, left where they were flying to, apparently the plane gets hijacked and then they fly to Scotland and then they just land safely and it was all part of a plan just to let people get off the plane if they want to and defect over to a free and independent Scotland, which... Ah. Boop. Nice. So we're doing pretty well, I think. We've got control of all of the northern, most of the Midlands. So I think, like, the border, if we do have a kerfuffle, will be like... Do -do 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 -do. So that's a, a nice front to defend from, really. Oh, wow. Gloucestershire really doesn't support me at all. Oh, and East Anglia they do. Oh, hey. Well, they're, they're starting to, at least. But it'll take a long time for them to switch over. I'll just target some institutions. We have no support in Gloucestershire. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh dear. So I'm going to lose a lot of guns and support because these things aren't going to complete. Did I just not read that properly? Activates mission inspection. But it doesn't give you. It doesn't tell you what the mission is until it happens. So I didn't know that I was meant to control these two. That's not good. Oh well, not much I can do about it. Why exactly the boss told us to head down to Cornwall was fairly obvious. We don't get along with the Germans all that well. Yep, be more practical. <laughs> so we're doing some bit of sabotage against Cornwall. Cornwall, do you reckon Wales would join me? Come on, Wales. He's gone! So Germany's probably going to go into a massive civil war now. Take what's ours, we get a couple of thousand guns. Oh, there we go. A nice old kerfuffle. So there's Spears, Bormans, Goerings. Oh my gosh, they're all at it. Now would be a great time to rise up. Oh wow, okay, so I've already risen up. Oh, uh, shite. I was hoping for a bit more time. I also wasn't expecting divisions from East Anglia, so I'm going to try and hightail it out of here. Give up Norwich, but try and gain Northampton, etc. Yeah, my divisions in East Anglia are already encircled. That's not ideal. I thought this was going to be firmly under my control, but I guess I was wrong. Either way, that's annoying. I better take Liverpool. Shots have rung out across England. Yep. <sighs> okay, we've encircled a few divisions up here, so I probably just need to keep up the pressure. And we've taken Nottingham. So we're getting like a solid base to defend from. Oh, I don't like this. I think I have to give up taking Leicester. I can't believe how badly I'm... Well, I, I, not how badly. I can't believe I am microing. And I've actually encircled a lot of their divisions now. <laughs> Just gotta keep hold of that. So, I'm a little bit salty uh, that the the Cornwall has access to a, a freaking is that, is that a Panzer division. Yeah, I have no anti-tank. I'm gonna lose Shrewsbury. You know when units don't? I'm telling them to hold their attack, right? Oh God, so annoying. So what I'm gonna try and do is just shore up my defences with a front line. <laughs> Pray we can hold and send my motorised. Da they have divisions there. We've encircled another division. Each one we take out just weakens them considerably more, in theory. It's just the Cornish divisions. Who would have predicted the Cornish? <laughs> Could I somehow beeline it down to London? Seize the capital right from under them? That'd be pleasant. I can, however, encircle a couple more divisions around here. It seems I can still micro when I want to. <laughs> Every now and then, you know, put it good to good use. Okay, we've surrounded Reading. This is going alright. This is going better than I thought it would. Then the panzer comes out of Cornwall, just like strikes at me in the middle of night. <laughs> I'm just like, what the... What the heck? This game is quite laggy. I keep, I've been saying that a lot recently, aren't I? 
Hearts of Iron is, can be quite laggy. Can't believe it though, we do seem to successfully be holding. And, well, we've made some quite good gains already. Whereas the German Civil War is still going on. It's just this tank division. This tank division is really screwing me. <laughs> How? Why wouldn't they be like, nah, let's, let's, let's all just, just chill out. But no, we'll cut them off in Kent. And then we've got London firmly surrounded. Unless this, unless Cornwall like tries to change that again. Take Dover, nice. And then the battle for London begins. I wonder if I'll have to take Cornwall. I, I really don't know how to defeat that tank. But London should fall soon. Oh, sweet victory! Oh, Her Majesty's most loyal resistance has bested the Kingdom of England and taken their first steps towards reuniting Great Britain. And is that it? We are now the English transitional government and without a focus tree. So I, I think that's where it ends. Yeah, there's, there's nothing else to do, really. Could I justify manual use of this feature? So I can't actually manually justify on anyone. So that that is the end of this uh, the, the Kingdom of England tree. I will say that it would be nice if they try to make these colours a bit more distinctive because it's really tricky to... I don't know, just to keep... Oh, there's also Schwischland, Germany. They're not... Yeah, there's, there's not much for me to... Oh, I have decisions, but there's no point in using that, is there? Because we control everything. Oh, there is a new tree undoing their evil. So then it just... Uh, yeah, you're fixing... Just go around fixing England. All right. So you can assign commanders to everywhere. I, I don't really know what this does. I presume it will help with stability. An SLP commander. There are 15 seats. Begin demobilization. Ooh. Or clearing unexploded ordnance. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> All right, we just have a, a, a talk about disposal teams. All right, nice. Our stability continues to increase. Uh, then I can do... Oh, I, ha I have to do begin demobilization. That's not gonna be good. Oh dear. Then life begins anew. We get a new event. Um, we had no need to conscript and the vast majority of our fighters were militiamen or defecting soldiers. Okay. Nice. Great event. Thank you. <laughs> clearly, clearly there are some bugs to uh, to get to, to finish. Sorry. I, I, my brain is a bit of a scramble at the moment. Oh, Nixon resigns. The Oxford Trials. Ooh! Yes! Okay, so we have to judge the collaborators. I wonder what might happen to them. Let the trials commence. Alright, do I get to do any? Now we must select our judges. Well, I guess I can't. So, the traitor. Okay, I, you know when, like, I, I just don't care about all of these little things going on. I'm just worried that if I disable, like, event pop-ups, then I'll miss out on my own events. But, yeah, if, if, if Pladvavar goes to war with Orlovita, I'm over it, you know? Did I not just turn them off? Or is that not for... Do I... Okay. Field Marshal Burnham Montgomery, you stand here in front of all of England accused of high treason. Uh, I will do... Exile for Montgomery. Oh. Guess the event. Uh, Alex Douglas Home. Uh, uh, oh dear. Alright, it's all done. The gavel strikes. I've left some of them out. Uh, just because I... <sighs> this mod gets a bit dark. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I like to keep my videos kind of light-hearted if I can. <laughs> and then citizenship reborn. At stake is the future of the monarchy, the economy, and the reconstruction process. Yeah, like imagine trying to rebuild your nation in the 1960s after like 20 years of... Was it 20 years? I don't know, 10, 20 years of occupation? Looks like Borman's gonna win here. Yeah, Borman has won. All right, and so dusk approaches. Thank you for playing through the full content for one of our nations. Oh, we did it. All right, thank you. Um, well, there you go. That is the new order mod. If you, oh my gosh, look at all the people that have collaborated with it. Wow, crumbs. Yeah, that was that was good fun. Uh, if you want to see more of this mod, do let me know in the comments below, and I'll be back very soon. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Cutter Stoevec, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Tyler Colby, Tad House, Colby Was Taken, Matt Zuv, Vashk, Warren P. George, Dave D.Y. The Don, Valhalla Hulls, Goozy Dibs, Yaboy, yeah Da Falcon, Ryan Cock, Jake Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous Ramble supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!